So basically, we were really, really tired and... <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> I'm going to start the video off with that. <laughs> well done. Oh, what an exhilarating episode this is. Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. In this episode, we enter St. Cuthman's School. Originally known as Whispers, it was built in 1874, but later on the house went on to become St. Cuthman's boarding school. It closed in 2004, and after six years of being left empty, it was taken on as the Durand Academy, but once again it closed after a lack of funding. Welcome back to Ghost Theory. Now this place is absolutely incredible. So we are going to start off by doing quick sort of explore of the whole place, doing our usual piss around things, trying to uh, stir up energy. It is coming to dusk now, so we've got about an hour until it gets completely dark. So what we want to do is just test out everything and everywhere just to make sure we know where we're going tonight because it's that huge um, and what we expect to hear. Basically like a, a base test, do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, but we just need to have a look around. This place is yeah. monstrously big. We're going to have to miss a few rooms, aren't we? Yeah. Let's be honest. I mean, once you've been in two or three classrooms, you pretty much have an idea of what they it's are. It's just PE. I mean, I think it's safe to say most stuff is still here. Yeah. You can see all these rooms outside. Again, are they even worth looking at? So these are just like mini classrooms. And probably like work centres, almost. Yeah. But this, I think, just look at the main bulk of it. With this, you can sort of see from the outside anyway. Well, there's the kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> These footsteps are wet. Yeah. These have happened recently. There's within the last hour. Okay. You said that you, you um, saw somebody in here on the window mm -hmm. on the way up. On the walk up to the building, I thought I saw somebody up in one of the top windows. Now, I know this is kind of a common theme for our videos of trying to rule out if somebody else is in the building, but not worried about getting caught. We just don't want to capture something that we then later find out was somebody else in the building with us. Maybe there's somebody in here we don't Exploring. know Exploring. Let's go have a look. But you can see a lot of footsteps in here. You can look. They're fresh. That's quite cool. But they've gone that way. There's a dog. Huh? Dog prints. Oh yeah. Oh no, look, they've gone down there, turned around yeah. and through here. It's like they're looking for someone. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Let's be really quiet then. I really wonder if somebody is in here with a dog, or was, searching for people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, security. They wouldn't enter buildings though. You might just be having a look around. Depends if it's their own. But look, the dog prints have gone in there, yeah. Like an hour old, if that. Hmm. So that was the dining room. Let's just be quiet. This just looks like someone's been sleeping here, doesn't it? It really, really does. Yeah. Hmm. But we didn't see the person this side of the building. Yeah. Well, I only thought I saw someone. Yeah. But those wet footprints are brand new. They've not been there for very long. No, they haven't. 
It really looks like someone's living in that. It's hundred percent somebody either just been here or still here because is, there's um This is where you thought you saw him. Or well, somewhere in here, here, yeah. Hmm. It's not in this room. <clears throat> but if you see what the beds are like, Joe. Yeah, I know, it looks these it looks like it looks completely different. What was that like? Hello? Have a look on your phone. Why? So I had a phone notification. No. I just had somebody's phone. Okay, that's just weird. That was really weird. We need to keep going. Right. <laughs> Why does this always happen to us? Is there somebody in here? Oh, for God's somebody sake. Somebody with a dog? Well, they were. At least. Not very long ago. Where did the footprints go? Up the corridor. Up and they didn't come back either. It's soaking down here. Yeah, I can see it. Where's the water coming from? Oh, oh shit, I had water again. Where did it come from? It's like someone's been mopping. Yeah. Yeah. So, we, are, we were downstairs and we we're fascinated by wet footsteps. We go upstairs and we are fascinated by a soggy floorboard. For some reason, we're just infatuated by this idea. <laughs> That a janitor. <laughs> like he's just decided to mop one hallway and then just put two wet floor signs out for a building that no one ever uses. <laughs> Stop it, I'm opening the camera. Is that somebody there? That front window, the white one. The white part, someone, I swear, if I just saw someone go past that, that square. Oh, there's, there has to be, I know we always do this. Every one of our videos is like, oh, there's someone else here. But there's always a sign to say there's someone else here. Should we go up? Yeah. Because there's no yeah. footsteps up here. Yes, there is. Old ones. Old ones. But they're, they're not wet. They're not wet. Water, no. I think that might be the door yeah, that we just went through. Nighttime is upon us, and so we begin in the foyer. <laughs> um, I think it's probably the best word for it. Yeah. The staircase. I just want to quickly point out again, we've come here on a bit of a whim again. We don't know if it's wanted, we just know it's bloody old. If anybody's here, anybody who wants to communicate, Come forward. It's deadly silent, I like it. No pollution. Is there any spirits here who want to communicate? We're two paranormal investigations. <laughs> investigations? <laughs> We're two paranormal investigators. We just want to talk to you. Come and do something to let us know that we are not alone.
Come and talk to us. Can you hear what sounds like walking upstairs? Very lightly, yeah. Very lightly. Is there somebody with us now? Are there any spirits here? You might not be used to people trying to communicate with you. We might be the first. So there's no need to be shy with us if you are here. Did it come from in here? Through there or through down the... into the common room? I don't know. Let's check through here first. Because this is the classroom. So... I think I vaguely heard it down here. So we decided to move on through one of the classroom corridors. Um, and in this corridor, there are like two or three uh, little classrooms connected to it. It was quite amazing. but. This. I'm recording. So we were quite. We don't mean you any harm. Can you make a noise for us if you want to communicate? Why though? Can you make a noise for us, please? There's like rumbling coming from upstairs. I think so, yeah. Come and talk to us. We don't even know if you're here. It'd be good if you could just help us out a bit and introduce yourselves to us. There's no one here. Because that's the only open door. That's where we came in. No. And you can't come in the building this way. And that goes back up to where we were. So there's no one here. That's absolutely amazing. When we were calling out in there, 
we were getting really loud noises and they were they were really really distinct um, and it was a real shame that we couldn't pick it up louder to on the, on the microphones on the cameras because I was so sure that I heard a book being thrown from the table onto a floor is the best way I could describe it. I couldn't necessarily hear it as a book when I was there. I'm not really sure what I think that was. But the second thing was very metallic, two metallic knocks. And it sounds like the door shutting. And you'll see towards the end of the episode, we, we actually capture this again in the same room. Okay, so we're gonna sit down now. If there are any spirits here, we just invite you to come and make as much noise, as much activity as you possibly can for us. Do anything you like. Have some fun. Come and do something to us. Can you make a sound of your voice? What are those noises above us? So because we've already scouted the location out, we can rule out the idea that someone is here. We can't rule out the idea that someone's just come in, but we, we know there was no one here when we arrived. And also we know where to go. And down here is basically the basement, isn't it? The cellar. I'm gonna turn my light up a little bit now. This has got an eerie feel to it, hasn't it? Mm. I think it's I just because it's so hollow. I was gonna say that we also know that there'd be a lot of energy here. Yeah. Because a lot of um, sports and... Yeah, players. that's where all the, the posh kids come to play. Is there anyone down here? Any spirits down here can come and communicate with us? Please come and talk to us. Make a knock. Close the door. Do anything you want. Come and use your voice. I can still hear rumbling upstairs, which makes no sense because we're now the floor down. Let's go into the cellar part because I'm not really feeling much in here. From on. No, I'm not. No energy in here whatsoever, funny enough. Yeah. That's a horrible room, but it's not... That's where they keep the least Ch favourite office worker. Yeah. See, this does... This does feel very odd. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Are there any spirits in these barrels? Did they torture you? <laughs> yeah, it's <like> vodka. <laughs> <laughs> it's whiskey there. What on earth is through that window up there? How weird. I have no idea. That's not outside, is it? Mm. It's like tunnels going through the floor of the, of the building. It is old. To be honest, I'm feeling more... It's upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. Right. Yes. Let's um, progress into a different part of the school. Upstairs. Yeah. This was back through... Where were those... The footsteps were, wasn't it? 
Oh, well, the water. It's where the water was, where all the footsteps went. Yeah. Still I still can't figure that one out. That goes oh. through to the kitchen too. There's no... Well, there are some footsteps here still. Is that now our footsteps? No. I think... No, they're not, are they? If you look, that one is completely yeah. different to ours. Yeah, we've got like boots on, that's like flat. That's bare foot. It's not bare, it, you can... It's definitely not a bear. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. I didn't mean bare foot, I mean bare, bare foot, you idiot. <laughs> Is anybody here with us? Make a sound. Why does that always happen to me? <laughs> Properly made me jump. Come and any spirits or any people or anybody just come and make yourself known to us. Do something really loud. Do you want us to go? If anybody's here, come and communicate with us. For those of you who haven't figured, we're now set in a classroom. This is where we heard the noises right at the beginning. Yeah. I can always hear a really faint mumble of mm. people talking. Yeah. Or like con constantly. Any spirits, come and talk to us. Anybody at all, come and... Do anything you can, just let us know you're here. I'm gonna turn on Ghost Tube, just because we can. Can any spirits say something out loud that can, what's the word? Um, be heard. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> I'm wobbling the camera when I laugh. That was oh, a big mock sound. Back inside again. Can you say something out loud that makes sense to this building that we're in? What was that? Hello? Come and make a sound. Come and talk to us.
Oh my God, please tell me I just caught that on camera. Oh, did you catch it? I don't know. Hello. Did it fucking make the wrong call? Where? <laughs> <laughs> did it open or did it close? That closed. But that door wasn't open, so how is it? I don't know, this is Stop. good. Let's stopped chasing. Right, right, what, what I'm thinking is we could hear that blind move as if it's a bit windy. Yeah. Did that just open? I want to check yeah. it because I want to see how easy that is. No. That's so heavy. And that was like out here. Huh. Isn't this where we came in? We came in through here. Come and talk to us. I know you're here. You've been walking around all evening. Do you want us to leave now? Or do you want us to stay? Move something if you want us to go. Make a really loud knock if you want us to stay. We are going to go shortly. So do something to let us know that you're still here. Doesn't it? I mean... We're both going to run out of battery in a minute. We have been here for hours. I'm pretty impressed with what we've caught. Yeah, it was, it was more active towards the beginning, I think. It was, which is weird, actually. <laughs> but maybe it used up the energy and it's building up for the night. We just don't have enough battery mm. power. Or, well, if we had permission to stay here all night, so to speak, we would. Mm. I think we should uh, go to a blackout screen now.